Welcome to our new series, uh, which isn't really a series, it's just me finding random posts on forums of the web, and explicitly uh, Kiruba.com, which I love this website. Um, not going to get deep into <clears throat> why I love this website, but it just has a really great manager, Kiruba, great guy. Alright, so I just picked, selected um, a post on the site, which was, why is the simple split join not working? I had a working, it, it had been working earlier. I've uh, been staring at it too long, probably. Um, and he, the guy pasted some code inside. His name here is M2244. I'll just call him M. <laughs> so M2244. Yeah, it's not that hard to say that full name. Let's jump in and see the problem. And one of the stuff is also, I can't really see it because I can't actually see the XML file or its content. So I'm just going to assume um, a fake content here. And I'm not going to really solve your problem, but I'm going to show you how could you yourself solve the problem. But I'm assuming that you have some text inside here. And let's say the question will be is, why aren't you learning on 02Geek? Okay, so let's say that was the question, and I see that you're using this kind of blank mythology in here, and I'm guessing the idea is um, maybe instead of having that learning, you wanted to have some sort of text that would be interchangeable, um, such as, let's say, we have your, you put here a pipe, I don't know why, but let's put there a pipe. So I'm just going to put one pipe, I don't really understand the need for this um, slash blank, because I think like a pipe is just not used in general, so like even if you put something even like a pipe dollar, no one would, you would never need that in a sentence ever, you got yourself your, your split parameter. And you can have as many of them as you want, so maybe um, the answer will, would have also uh, one of those as well. So alright, so, so that's our XML text. Uh, we're tracing our XML text out, and then we're trying to replace our text and, and swap it. And obviously, we could swap it just by putting in our split. We could split it up with that copy that we've just put in, and we could join it in with the other copy and trace it out. And obviously, this part would work. Um, and we're not really answering that specific question that you were having of the issue of why wasn't it working for you. And the reason why it wasn't working for you, your split wasn't really returning a result. The way for you to solve it is quite easy, is what you want to do is first you want to make sure that you got the text. You already know that you got the text because you, you've put that trace there. The next thing that you'd want to do is probably trace out that split, and I would even say trace, trace out the length of that split. And you would probably need to do that before you change it, so I would do it up here on line 3. And if I run the application again, I would expect to get three. And why would I get three is because I'm having your one, two, and whatever's after that, which is three. So I, I split it, I got three. If you're getting a result of zero or one, well, most chances you would never get zero, you would get one. But if you get a score of one, for example, if I put here a completely different thing, like I'll put this value in and I trace it out, you'll see that I'm going to get the result of one. That is because it's going to split everything into one part. Um, which basically tells you that your condition just didn't meet up. It's not working. Now, you've said that it worked before. What might have happened is something changed in that XML file. Um, or it could even be that you resaved the file in a different format because you're using that backslash blank, which is not very common. I haven't really seen that. Um, don't use that backslash blank. I don't recommend it. Use just hard-coded value. Um, if you have another reason, just post the email on the site. And I just wanted to put one more note about your work here. Um, try to avoid using an uppercase uh, when you're working with variables, we really try to keep those uppercase starting with an uppercase letter when we're calling a specific class, such as a string class, supposedly, or if you're creating an object, so the object itself or an XML, which would be all in uppercase. But in your case, you're using a variable, and as a variable, it's a good idea to start up with a lowercase and not as a uppercase. It just makes it easier for you to then see in the future that you're working with a variable and not with a class. Um, but that's all the info that I have for you. I hope this helped. And if you have any other further issues, concerns, just post it right back in there in that, um, well, or in the comment of the video or right on kirupa.com.